Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how important the Cat5e or Cat6 Ethernet cable could for the long run PoE. As we know, the PoE is limited to about 328 feet. Beyond that, we can use some kind of PoE extension solution like the PoE standard or the long run PoE switch to repeat the PoE. Recently, we received a complaint from some of the customers that PoE extender doesn't work. I mean, he said it's worth the short punch code, but it doesn't work when he used the long run cable. Now we realize the cable could cause the serious problem. Here we got two Cat6 Ethernet cable. Both client is using the pure couple, but this one is we use about 200 USD dollar to purchase. For this one, just a little bit more than 100 USD dollar. Now first, let's just run a quick test because I want to measure the voltage. You see, when the run run PoE, there is always voltage drop. The power will, will become the heat and consume in this cable. Eventually, we can check the voltage here. Okay, this is the expansion one, expensive one. Now, I got the power meter. Let me just measure the negative and positive and see how much voltage we still have at the end of this camera. So later we can complain, compare with another row of cable and see what the problem it caused. This is the expensive one, it's working. So now let me just use the power meter. And this is the voltage meter. I'm going to just test the positive and negative voltage. Now we are seeing about, let me see, 52 voltage. That's normal. It will be okay. You see the PoE switch up about 55, and here we got about 54, 53. That's normal. There's always voltage drop. As long as the remain voltage is large than 36, the whole PoE system will be work. This is the standard protocol from the standard PoE. Okay, now let's just change to another row of cable. I just changed to another row of cable. This is the chip one. You can see the cameras just keep rotating. Also, we don't have the image. The reason is because the power is not enough and the camera just keep rebooting, trying to de auto detection. There's no video. Okay, now also let's just measure the voltage, remain voltage. How much voltage we still have here? You can see the voltage just keep jumping from the 53 to the 33. That means when the camera when the camera try to pull the power from here, the voltage just drop down immediately. The reason is there's too much voltage consumed in this cable. Now we, we know the problem. Even they both can they belong to the pure couple, make of 100% couple, but the cheaper one, I think they find a way to cost down. Why we still can see this cable in the market? Because when they build this cable, they didn't expect you are going to use the whole 1,000 feet to run from one end to the other. Usually you just use about 300 feet, even less. In that case, there were no problem for the PoE, right? But now we are working on neutral run distance over 1,000 feet. In this case, it's very important to choose the qualified Cat5 or Cat6 Ethernet cable. But sometimes it's very difficult to judge which one is good, which one's bad. But at least if you're looking for a very low cost, like a very cheap one, and they tell you it's made of 100% copper, you need to dial it. And if it doesn't work, I mean, if the whole system works with the short punch code, but it doesn't work with the long cable, then I also will suggest you change to another supplier to supply you the cable. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, Please leave a comment section below. See you next time.